Hello everyone, this is Johannes and you are watching Board Gaming Ramblings and this is an extra video, a video I wasn't planning on doing but this is an unboxing video. I know a lot of people don't really like unboxing videos but I thought I'm gonna open up this game so why not set up the camera, set up the sound equipment, turn it on, set everything, set the white balance, set the focus, do all of that, then sit down, open it while speaking out loud in a language I don't usually speak. That's kind of the most logical thing to do, right? So that's why we're here. We're opening this box up. I know this is a copy of Everdell. Uh, I backed on Kickstarter. Really excited to look at this game. This is the one game I, I backed almost purely on art. The gameplay looks cool, but the artwork was stunning in this game. I just felt like this is a game I need to have in my collection. And after seeing pictures of other people's game, I think this is going to be a game I love the components of, and I hopefully the gameplay is fun as well. Like, the only thing I want to say, like, there was no tracking for this package, which is usually kind of strange with Kickstarters. Usually I get it and I get a tracking for it. This one just, I got an email saying, you can pick up the parcel now. So let's open up this thing and see Everdell. I think I bought the deluxe edition or something. I do not remember, but I think I probably did something like that. It's a really tight box. See if we can get it open here without destroying the game that's inside. I hope we don't need that knife anymore. Let's open this up. Oh. Ah. So the only thing that's kind of bad about this box being this small is that if some of the edges would be crushed, then you would crush the game. Okay, so I'm throwing away the box. I don't need that. Let's look here at the edges first. It looks... Uh, kind of crunched edge here, but uh, it doesn't really matter. This is kind of a really cool uh, I, 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 I'm like usually a huge Not fan. I don't really like these kind of sleeves because it makes the game so much harder to actually play And they are usually so tight so it's gonna be like really hard to get them up back on after you play the game You're gonna be like, oh, I don't want to do this every time I play so usually I don't want to have sleeves but this game just got one and it has so many nice pieces of artwork. You can just put it on your shelf and it's going to be really, really cool. Great, beautiful, golden letters there. I'm going to see if I can get out this. I'm just going to get the knife and get open this plastic. Oh, we are in. Everybody, we're in the game. I'm really looking forward to play this game as well. Uh, probably a lot of you have already played the game and I really would like to hear some comments about what you think about the game Okay, so I'm gonna first take this sleeve off and I'm gonna actually try to put it on again to see As I said, that's gonna be a horrible thing to do Like, okay, it wasn't too bad, but meh I don't like sleeves, this one looks good, but Let's look at the front here, it's so beautiful like this game, I think gonna be, like in this video, I'm gonna say that a lot of times. This game is beautiful. The artwork for this, everything behind here. There's also a 3D tree, which looks really, really, really good. This artwork is just phenomenal. So let's open it up. Oh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna have this on my shelf back here because it's so beautiful. Okay, we're gonna open it up. Let's see. There's some expansion thing here. I think. Okay, there's some metal things. I like metal things. Wooden, legendary expansion, extra, extra cards. So basically some a Kickstarter exclusive. Oh, this is a thick rulebook. Wow. Let's hope the, I don't think the game is really... I wouldn't think the game was going to be any uh, a, a hard game at all. Like, but there's... Okay, so there's a lot of pictures in the rulebook. Not really so much text. Like this whole page is just a painting. I think it really went for... A great it it looks really really good uh, everything looks really great so so basically that's solo rules and an index okay so the rules are basically the rules are basically only and fail here so kind of a little bit more than half of this booklet so it's gonna be easy to read I'm looking forward to that and then we have a board oh I I'm actually I actually like boards that are different, different, not only square boards, I like like the board in Pulsar 2849. Ah, uh, this board looks really great. 
I am in love with this artwork. I think I'm going to put a tree over here and have some cars over here that you can choose from. Great looking board. Mm, I'm looking forward to play this game. Heard so many great things about it. Okay. I'm not going to punch it now. I'm just going to do like punch. Oh, great punch boards. Like this, when you watch an unboxing video, you see like how nerds we gamers are. You're going to be like, oh, I really like this punch board. We're like, we are really creepy kind of. We're strange people, aren't we? But we really... I love this hobby and all the strange people in it. And including myself. I don't love myself. Or, yeah, I probably should do that. But that doesn't have anything to do with this video. Some great punch boards. That's the tree. Beautiful components for the tree. Looking forward to put that together. More punch boards. Actually, not too many punch boards here. Okay, let's see. These are some... Some stickers. I don't like stickers. But there are the same things... As tokens here. I don't know if I actually need a sticker. So it's basically the same thing. We'll see when I read the rules. Okay, let's start with the different components. We have a die here. It's a big die. It's a D8. A big D8. Big chunky D8. Looking good. Black D8 with some red letters. Really, really cool. And then we have... I think some of these are kind of a Kickstarter things. These are actually plasticky actually kind of squishy resources i don't know what these are they are purple with a star on them let's see probably in the rules somewhere what they are because people like me to know what i'm talking about but when i open a game the first time i don't know what all the resources are named let's see here berries i should have guessed that because they look like berries they are berries they are really really cool actually squishy kind of different sizes no kind of the same same size really squishy cool berries then we have all of these different animal meeples that are really cool. This is kind of a squirrel. You have a fox or something. Really hard to show them off. And then you have this turtle. These are really, really cool custom meeples. I am a huge fan of custom meeples. I love cubes more than the next pay person. That's nothing you say. I love cubes, but I also like these, these different things. These are wood, I think. Probably should be wood. They are... Because they are kind of like wood. This is wood. Great looking resource. I'm just showing it over here. Great looking resources. Great kind of like... Again, I love I love great components. If you've seen a lot of my videos, you know that I love great components. Even though it's not really something I need in a game. Of course, it makes me happy. Some rubies of some kind. Orange kind of rubies. Looking good. Everything. This, this, these are some brown discs. I don't think I really need to get those out. And then you have... Some metal, these were some metal points, I think. Looking good, kind of glossy. Mm, heavy enough. Not the best ones I've seen, but good metal coins there. Some more metal, this is the tree value over here. And then we have, there's some really great resources. We have some pebble stones, which look really, really cool. Like, really cool, good plastic. And we have another animal here. This is some, it's a rat, I think. This is some kind of expansion. Is this four players? One, two, three, four. I'm guessing this is kind of like a five player expansion or something like that. I don't know. And then we have the cards with the artwork which brought photo people into this game. We have also actually quite a nice insert. I am always debating about should I throw an insert or not. I will see after I try to put things in here and see if it works. I will see if I'm going to keep this insert or not. So let's just rip open these cards. I'm going to do this pack because this pack has one of my jobs on it. I saw my job on here and the card was stuck. It says, juggler. I want to have this card. I am a juggler. I've been juggling like 10, 15 years. Uh, I was working really a lot with juggling before. If there's a magician in here as well, I'm going to be happy because those are my... And if there's an actor, that's kind of my job. There's not, there's a carnival, Scribble Stadium, Finn Noble Tale, and basically not more of my job. But great, great, great artwork, which is basically what I didn't really <laughs> look at here because I was looking for my job. Some really, really beautiful piece of art, like every single piece of art in this game, and the backs are really beautiful. Every single piece of art in this game just looks amazing and I can't wait to actually try it out. And I think that's it. I'm not going to open up this now. It's 
basically just more cards i'm really looking forward to get this game to the table now and see what it's all about but all the components looks fantastic and i hope you enjoyed watching me looking at the components even though some people hate it maybe some people like it i know i do actually enjoy looking at people opening boxes up and i can't open a box myself because i really enjoy opening up boxes and this was fun I am enjoy, I'm gonna go put up the tree and I'm probably gonna put it on Instagram or something. So go follow me on Instagram, that's Board Gaming Ramblings. You can follow me on Twitter, that's BG Ramblings. And you can subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. That would make me really happy. Thank you so much for watching. That's the end of this boxing un video, boxing of the unboxing of Everdell. Thank you so much for watching and I will talk to you soon and bye bye.